Good morning, loves, wherever you are, whatever time of day it may have been. Um, I'm just doing a video today. It's a Roxy video um, about my guy dog. And I just want to let you guys know the importance of when you go home, you have to pick a vet. Um, with the blind school I went to, they gave us forms that you have to fill out and send back in on a two-week checkup since they've been to your house, a three-month and a six-month checkup. It may be different from each school, but it's very important to know what vet and um, to establish that type of relationship. And when you're legally blind or totally blind or even visually impaired, it's very important to pick a vet that you feel comfortable with. And the reason why is because the vet that you choose, they have to explain everything verbally they're doing to your animal they can't just be in silence so um, Roxy's vet is Dr. English she's in the Batefield Clinic um, in part PetSmart and she's been there many many times already but I absolutely love her vet and um, she could tell we're taking really good care of her so when you get home just if you have no idea what vet to choose, ask your friends that have pets. Um, ask the school to give you some referrals, because I know in my blind school, they had a vet come visit us for a lecture, so your blind school can help you with certain names of vets in your area. But it is really important when you get home, the very first thing you do, not only to get all the nice things for your dog, like a bed and a crate, but it's to find a vet to take care of your animal, and that way they have a really long working life with you. So like I say, guys, um, be you, stay true, and be naturally sweet. Bye. Hey, Roxy, you ready to go to the vet? Yep, today we're going to a follow-up appointment. Um, her vet is Dr. English um, at Bainfield Clinic, which is inside of I think a PetSmart store. So she had an ear infection. She's been on medication for two weeks and we're going back to make sure her ear infection is um, gone and she's fine. And also to weigh her fat fat. Um, when she came home, she was 63 pounds with her body frame was perfect for her size. And then her first vet trip, she was 68. And the last time we was there, she got up to 70. So I did, um, Put her on a diet by reducing the amount of food I was giving her every day because obviously I was overfeeding her and um, we're hoping Roxy <laughs> we were hoping or I'm hoping that this visit not only is her air infection gone but her weight's under control too. Alrighty let's go let's go Roxy at the baby baby She, was, she hears the cabinet to her medicine. She's like, no! <laughs> I don't blame her. I'm sure that feels weird. Ears doing better, though? Yeah, she hasn't been, like, shaking or anything. Good. So I've been doing the wash every other day and the the drops every evening. They're better than what they look. They still look a little bit red. They're not too bad. Did you do I still want to eat? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs>